Let's wrap up to three. We're going to write the equation of a parabola in factored form. We're given that we have x intercepts at negative two, zero, and negative one, zero, and we're also given a point negative three, twenty. Remember, general form of a factored equation right here, where P and Q are your intercepts. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the values that we know. Well, P can be my first x-intercept. Doesn't really matter what order you do, you do this. You could have also made negative 2Q. Um, negative 1 can be Q. I'm given an x-coordinate. They gave us a point x, y. So that is negative 3. And my y is 20. I don't know A. So now even given what you have here, you could write most of the factored form minus the A. We need to know what the A is and what we're going to do is we will use that X, that information for this point that they give us to go ahead and find the A value and then we can substitute everything back into general form and get our equation. So we're going to substitute what we know into the general form. Here's my general form. So my Y value is 20. I don't know what A is. My X value is a negative 3 minus P. Now be careful, sign error. Um, P is a negative 2 and we're going to have parenthesis on top of parenthesis here. Times my X is a negative 3 minus Q, which is a negative one. And now notice we're down to one variable. We can solve for that. So let's just start simplifying. I have 20 equals A. OK, so this is negative three plus two. I got a negative negative times. Here's another negative 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 three plus one. And now again, I'm going to keep simplifying. 20 equals A times, we have negative 3 plus 2 gets me a negative 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. 20 equals, okay, so negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2, so that's 2A. A is 10. You got it. Divide out that 2. And 10 equals A. So now I know that. I'm going to go through substituting it in. I'm hoping that you guys will be able just to jump right to the final answer here. So let's see. So we're going to use our general form. Y equals my A is 10 times it is x minus p. My p was a negative 2. But again, here I'm hoping that you recognize already. You just need to flip the sign, put the 2 in, that if it's a negative 2, you're going to see an x plus 2 there. Um, x minus q, and q was a negative 1. And let's just simplify it. 10 times x plus 2 times x plus 1. And here we are. That is the equation of our parabola in factored form.